I'm having another monsoon day. I'm just outside of Arcadelapio and Texarkana, somewhere there between them. And I've been in this for probably the last hour. So yeah, I feel like I'm playing Storm Chaser. And you can't see it, but there's two trucks in front of me. For everybody out there that doesn't realize why you're supposed to have your lights on when your wipers are on and it's daylight, this is why. You can't see those two trucks. I can barely see their taillights. So everyone, and I mean everyone, if your wipers are on, your lights are supposed to be on. That is a law. It is not an enforced law, but it is a law. same way it's a law, you're supposed to use blinkers. But you're not likely to get pulled over for not using your blinkers, and that's all you did.
is not in ideal condition, so you need to back it off some. I'm barely doing 65, and at the point I'm not even giving a gas. I'm just using inertia. And I'm braking right now, and I'm, and I'm, I'm still having to go slow. Like, I'm braking, and I'm, I'm, see, it takes a long time. But yeah, you don't go full throttle. And all you asshole truck drivers that want to drive 90 miles an hour anytime you're in your damn truck, fuck you. You're the reason that all these regulations keep popping up about governing the trucks more. If you need to do 90 to make your appointments, you need to redo your scheduling. You need to rethink your fucking loads. Because there are plenty of us drivers, myself included, that are governed, and we get from our point A to point B on time, if not early. Work smarter. Drive smarter. Manage smarter. Don't work harder. Quit running yourself into the ground by just holding yourself against the fucking grind. Like Just Trucking says, know your worth. Okay, well, if your worth is that you're going to have to go a little slower to make sure you get there in okay condition, do it. Like SoCal says, plan better, work smarter, not harder. That's where I get that from. I get it from SoCal. Work smarter with your truck. Don't work harder. Yeah, it's an old phrase. It's overused from back in the day and on lesser things. But it is so much more important in this situation, in this industry. The fact that people are working harder than smarter is the reason. Most people are only getting $1.50 a load, if not less. It's why people are wanting to give you a thousand dollars for three thousand miles, or why they're wanting to give you five hundred dollars for a thousand miles. However, it works. I don't. I don't work in the market. I don't, I don't work the market, so I don't know what it is. So I'm probably speaking out my ass about that stuff. But come on. They say there's a truck shortage. So that means the premiums on things should be up. I think where the truck trucking shortage is is the fact that more people are going to owner operators and less company drivers. So it's not the fact that the industry is short drivers. It's the fact that the mega carriers are short drivers. There are more trucks parked for the mega carriers because there's more people out there doing it themselves. That's my opinion on that situation.
because I'm one of those drivers where I wash my windows all the time going down the road. So I go through my washer reservoir fast.
up off my fools, get empties for my next day. Don't stop. We'll find some place to park. And then Friday was basically the same thing as Monday. But I'd be closer to my stop because I'm not at home. I do my stop, go back to the where go back to the cross stop, go home. And that was my week. Monday through Friday. So I literally only had weekends off. So I really couldn't do anything during the week for like places that were only open during the week unless I said, hey, dispatcher, I, I need to have a day during the week to go do something. I usually would set it up for Monday or Friday just so it didn't mess with the rest of the week. But the way my, com or the way my, dis my company does this run, it's basically handled by one dispatcher and he handles all the drivers for this route. But he has only like literally just enough drivers to do the route. And it used to be really complicated with the whole running back and forth, running back and forth. You have to know where you're going, you have to know what you're dropping off, you have to know what you're picking up. So it was really hard to get people to uh, come on. Well, now with that fact that it's, they cut out the middleman, so there's no more cross stop. So it's literally like, I think there's like eight of us that run this route. And if one of us is sick, our, my dispatcher that runs the route is like, well, how long are you going to be sick? How long do you think it'll take you? It's not like, all right, get better, I'll get somebody else. Because he, he has trouble getting somebody else. I'm like, aren't there, like, load boards that you can post this to? Like, I'm sure there's got to be some way that you can publicly advertise this. But I don't know. I don't handle dispatch. I don't know any of that. From what I gather, he has to find someone within the company to take the load. And it's usually nobody available. Because I'm guessing, one, they don't want to take it. Or two, they just don't want to deal with him. Or they don't want to deal with Toyota and all the complicatedness. Like, I don't know. I don't know that part. I just know what I do. But it seems kind of messed up. But like, if I need a day, it can't be the day that I need it because he won't have anybody to cover the road. And then I feel like an ass for like, hey, I need a day. Well, I don't have anybody. I'm like, I'm sorry, I need a day. And I, the only day I can really do that is Tuesdays. And like, if I need any other day of the week to do something, my week is fucked because of the way this route works. And I get that any other route, you're probably not going to be near home to do anything. But at least being that far from home with my company, because I, I did OTR before I did this with my company, I was at least just making like short jumps, short hops. Like I was always within a day's, day's run from home. With me going to Texas, I'm two days. Or two... Two 11 hour shifts. Like, it, it's more than 11 hours for me to get to Texas to the dispatch terminal. And, like, it's frustrating me. And I don't know if it's just because I'm being picky or wanting what I want and it just need to suck it up or what. And it's really frustrating. And I'm not the only one that says this about this route. And on the other guys that I know that do this route. Like, we used to love the whole cross stop. But then Toyota, because Toyota's the one that's covering all the fees, apparently, because that's how it works. Toyota didn't want to pay for the cross stop anymore. So they shut that down last year. Which it saved the money, yes, it saved the money, but they didn't 
take that saved money and invest it into us drivers so that we can have a little more for our struggles or our efforts or our dealing with this.
gateway station between Texarkana and Arkadelphia. It's the last one before Texas. Which I find it kind of interesting that Texas doesn't really have an in-state scale.
got to think a lot, but then there's a lot of times where you're just rolling down the interstate where it's like, hey, keep your distance, do the speed, turn with a curve. There's not a lot to it. It's only when you get into big cities where it's crowded that it really gets complicated and stressful and mentally tiring.